नमस्कार एंड वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन आई एम मुक्ता कंडियाल वेलकम यू ऑल एंड दिस लाइव इंटरैक्टिव सेशन ऑफ सब्जेक्ट सोशल साइंस एंड दिस सेशन इज फॉर क्लास नाइन स्टूडेंट दैट मींस यू आर वाचिंग आर दिस प्रोग्राम ऑन पी एम विद्या चैनल नंबर नाइन एंड फॉर टुडे सेशन द टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट टूडे इज पैडोलॉजी ऑफ सोशल साइंसेज एंड एज ऑलवेज वी आर ज्वाइन बाय वन ऑफ द एस्टीम एक्सपर्ट्स हु विल बी गिविंग अस नॉलेज ऑन द पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक वी आर हैविंग फॉर टूडे द एक्सपर्ट वी हैव टूडे इज प्रोफेसर गौरी श्रीवास्तव मैम इज हेड एट डी ई एस एस एन सी आर टी नमस्कार मैम बहुत बहुत स्वागत है नमस्कार नमस्कार एंड वॉम वेलकम from my side to all my dear students who are watching this session thank you so much ma'am and to all our learners i would like to inform that if you have any questions any queries that you would like to raise with us you can call us on a number that is 8800440559 you can also write to us at dth.class9@cit.nic.in so without any further delay let's start today's topic and i will directly head to gauri ma'am gauri ma'am before we start our today's session i think it's very important for uh, for any viewer for any student to learn about what exactly is the meaning of pedagogy of social sciences before we move forward in the detail of today's topic uh, thank you so much for asking me such a pertinent question we all know that heart of the teaching lies in the way we deliver knowledge related to any discipline now all of you know i mean if you roll back in your school days many of you are there you keep your textbook or any other material in front of you i ask you a basic question we read through our eyes and understand the meaning which is given in it but the mechanism of putting life and blood into it is the way we deliver it and the way you participate this is pedagogy the art and craft of teaching and i'm sure that some of you like some subjects in social science a lot isn't it ask yourselves why did i like this lesson why i like this thing you may be in, uh, you know in class 9 uh, you know going uh, you know to class 10 but in your journey as a student you must have some of your questions to resolve that this subject is more engaging because it has been delivered well and you have participated equally or in a silent way through questioning through posing a more information through act through various activities that take place in the classroom all this has engaged you and don't forget you are a writer yourself all this makes a pedagogy of teaching engaging interesting it unfurls the text in front of you and you are able to not only read them but understand them and apply them to your life situation now when i talk of pedagogy because i've been a teacher myself i had students like you who were always asking and probing questions i would like to say one thing that when we talk of pedagogy there are different methods of teaching many of you in your classroom must be acquainted with this are you not accustomed to role play project method team teaching so many we use in permutation and combination this makes the text very very understanding many of you go back home make projects write essay type of questions do multifarious activities then what comes to your mind how do i do it how do i link how do i describe when you put these questions you are actually in the domain of unraveling the understanding into practice creativity in practice and pedagogy of social sciences actually promotes this it is not discipline specific of course when i talk about teach history then i will be uh, delivering a theme it could be french revolution it could be nationalism any theme that comes to you and it could be anything drawn from your indian context it could be freedom struggle it could be the bhakti movement it could be a personality any theme that you take and when you put this the manner of teaching it's actually pedagogy in practice now while i was uh, you know teaching i had joined ncert at the regional institute of education when i taught i used to ta- teach 
I never had one method in my mind because I think it's theme specific, mm. discipline specific and it's also the way I see from my eye contact, my body language that yes, uh, students are getting interested. Then I adopt that. So there is no prescriptive but suggestive ways of teaching. It is context specific because if I have students who would like more of you know knowing a particular concept it could be what is the meaning of you know revolution now this revolution word if you are decoded it can be seen as one through peaceful methods and also through bloodshed and when you think of peaceful method what comes to your mind it's the industrial revolution it brought changes in society but it did not lead to bloodshed but some do and you must be reading about the French Revolution. So here a term can get decoded, put into a context and understood as per the theme. Now as a teacher, if I further want to make you understand, you must be doing it in your classroom context, making projects, making charts, making models or using a map. That when any event or phenomena occurs, the best resource that I have to make my pedagogy child-centered, engaging, is to first take a map to give you a sense of the location, isn't it? Because if I am talking about any historical event, because in class 9th you have a theme called French Revolution, which the students are studying, you must be studying, then you know the event when it occurred. Second, where did it occur, you need a map, that is a space. And what led to it is the way uh, the policies were formulated by institutions, then the economic policy, political, then that linkage can be drawn with the help not only through methodologies of teaching, but also through assistive teaching and learning material and map, models, chart, giving you a variety of manner through which you not only understand, but the child also starts making, uh, uh, you know, uh, imbibing skills mm -hmm. of understanding through application. Mm -hmm. And this will also make you innovative. I'm sure during the pandemic, many of you must have read a lot, explored resources and uh, understood your theme, uh, whether it is related to geography, history or any subject. I have a presentation which I thought I'll share with you to explain to you. Pedagogy is a technique of teaching. I'm not reading it. The slide is in front of you. It, uh, it, uh, when you talk of pedagogy, as I said, varieties of methods are used. And when we talk of varieties of method, we also try to use appropriate techniques, which I talk uh, helps in making the subject interesting. And one very important thing, because if you try to decode social science, so what is social science? It's basically studying society in transition, the past and the present, establishing a beautiful dialogue between the two. And this also through the methods of teaching in your classroom. You must have experienced yourself when you answer a question, when you do group work through peer learning and sharing, or you're visiting a historical place of cultural importance, then th there is a feeling of togetherness, isn't it? Because we want that equity and inclusion should be part of teaching and learning of social science. Pedagogy of teaching, may, uh, as I said, links time, space, and institution. Now, why and how of pedagogy? First, it promotes inquiry skill. Now, what is inquiry skill? Now, for example, if I, I have taken a theme that I want to talk to, uh, you know, deliberating in the class, many of you start pondering. Let me look at this resource. Oh, this will just give me some mention about the important people who were involved in it. How many of, uh, you know, writers have written about it? Some of you would also like to question, let's see how the same theme 
like French Revolution has been mentioned across different textbooks. That is also a very interesting way of promoting an inquiry into it. Then you know the revolution brought about a very important thing of equality, liberty, paternity, a concept that has influenced the constitution making of many countries. Just think about ours also. Then the second thing is that it demonstrates knowledge and understanding of events and phenomena. Yes, you uh, through this pedagogy it instills in you the quality of understanding a phenomena in depth. Then the other thing is uh, it helps in uh, you know understanding the uh, uh, continuity and change that occurs in society what we were and what we are. This beautiful linkage uh, also is helped through pedagogy of participatory teaching. Now when we talk of pedagogy, it is not only subject specific because pedagogy has also an important thing and you realize for yourself in your classroom whenever a lesson is taught to you, it helps in developing communication skill. Now just think over that if you are sitting in a geography class, economics or you know uh, sometimes we have classes where uh, you, we do activities which are not part of any domain of knowledge but per se every discipline in a way gets linked. When you start communicating in form of a debate or when you want to you know voice your uh, own opinion in the classroom, there is a feeling of development of communication. You become uh, you know a communicator, you have the confidence, the courage to express what you want. Then many times when you do project work, you do it individually but let me ask you when you go for a field visit, don't you come together and do it in a mixed form. So basically it promotes cooperation, it prom instills teamwork, it promotes a feeling of caring and sharing. When you have made uh, a group, do not you share with you your ideas, okay I have collected this resources, now you collect these resources. So this feeling of collective responsibility with individual roles in a project also instills in you a quality of cooperation. So uh, Gauriman, the points which we can see on, uh, see on yes, the screen, yes. so can that be described as the importance of pedagogy or yeah. there is any other importance as well? Well, this, uh, it is important because one pedagogy is the way we understand deliver the text, it is theme based but pedagogy has other things also because you as a student if you feel that you have expressed yourself well, it leads to personality development and uh, it leads to creativity. Now I would like to show you something that you see when, uh, you, when I started teaching, I would always love to show certain material to instill in you curiosity, a feeling of creativity, a feeling of innovation. Yes, I can do perhaps something much better. Now here when I was doing a project which you must have read in your earlier classes on the saints of India. Now when I looked at this project, I decided look, why can't we make a lamp? Because a lamp means eternal knowledge, a knowledge that is relevant for all times to come. Now it is not just related to a theme that I found in my, that in your earlier classes that you have studied, but what you can do is decode messages uh, of some important contemporary person linked with your theme and you can think of making a lamp, you can think of making a, you know, culling down a, and making a biography and uh, uh, writing about their important messages. So this is one that you can think of. The other is that you know many times we become very interested and we are in the habit of collecting stamps, we are in the habit of collecting pictures, we are in the habit of you know decoding their speeches these days. You can also decode speeches and you know uh, capture them and keep it in your uh, you know whatever technology that you are using, a phone or uh, you know can, you can write up. So this, uh, this is where I wanted to show you some stamps. This is again related to our freedom struggle but here I got it and I thought if you are interested in promoting uh, your hobby of philately, you can do it. You can become a creative writer through a, a theme that you like. 
you can yourself start writing poem short stories a script for a session so you can see it for yourself here i will like to show you that this is a poem on peace and you must be knowing that through various themes even in geography we talk of preservation and conservation of nature which is embedded in most of our subjects you can draw linkages of certain concepts across subjects and see the interlinkages because this is an interdisciplinary age aap kar sakte hain you can do it similarly this is a small cd which i would like to show you this is about same poets here you can take a cd and uh, you know ask your own friend to read out a speech which is written and make a small cd so that when your friends read it they'll get motivated you're doing two things you're promoting your interest at the same time you are developing the skills of recording uh, you may also would like to make a speech of yourself who knows so these are some materials that i liked it to show one more i would like to show that i recently made probably you can draw inspiration for this when we talk of inclusive inclusive classroom setting i decided to make some material with the help of experts in braille and tactile and many of you may be having such material this is in the quit india movement that i had done and this project i thought uh, i made an album as well as the, decided to make a braille material and this is all in a braille so this and i asked the students of class 9th and 10th uh, to read it who were visually impaired and when they read it the joy i got because i thought yes my project went uh, to uh, a person who could read and understand and feel very happy that yes uh, you know uh, we uh, we are very happy please make more material like this so this is how uh, you see a pedagogy can take you on the journey of exploration it can uh, lead to a journey of creativity innovation it could also make you think i'm sure you must be thinking that you see these days all of us see the climate that is uh, you know we are accustomed to sometimes you know it rains very heavily when you uh, see the uh, television or you see your youtube or you access through your uh, mobile that you know the weather conditions are changing sometimes lot of flood there is lot of flood in one region the other region is very dry so you start pondering and i'm sure these questions must be plaguing you what are these changes taking place and why is it happening that why is very important because it has put a spark in you to go on a journey of exploration to find out and uh, resolve maybe you become a solver and give suggestions through your own way how to arrest such phenomena how to promote sensitivity towards nature how to have uh, you know a contributor to make my own space in the school more green and i'm sure you must be doing it in your house and your space so one leads to the other this is the beauty of teaching and learning and you never know tomorrow you can be a teacher you can be a professional you can make good suggestion so this is what i wanted to say that it's not just subject it's breaking into it you a very very important personality related quality pedagogy also helps in promoting assessment you must be answering short answer questions you must be doing uh, you know taking part in quiz you must be writing essays you must be preparing model models and i'm sure you each one of them must have instilled in you qualities of performance qualities of interest qualities of interlinkages these are important things and they are all linked now these days you must be listening you know listening and uh, doing uh, and a lot of discussion takes place on learning outcomes they are not stand alone they are part of the pedagogy and the outcome is what we want to see whether you are able to uh, you know retrieve facts from different sources to understand a phenomena whether you can relate to the causes and consequences of an event draw linkages locate place on a map and you can demonstrate your skills of analysis and explanation all this is part of 
a pedagogy in practice, a pedagogy that makes you a, a scholar in the making, a teacher in the making, a professional in the making. So this is the power of pedagogy. And let me tell you, I read it somewhere yes, that the dynamics of personality mm -hmm. uh, takes place in a classroom context. I added to it by saying that it's not just the classroom, mm -hmm. it's also activities that happen. Yes, now think for yourself, mm -hmm. you have also been a student. Mm -hmm. Now I would ask you yes, that what made you feel so interested in what uh, profession that you have just opted for? Uh, Ma'am, I could say for myself, you yes. know, I could do, um, I mean, the real trick, I think this is for everyone. Uh, I think you can find your path only by testing or trying number of things. So I tried one thing, I didn't find interest in. I tried second thing, I didn't find interest in. And similarly, in gradually, you will find a way out. You will find a thing where you will find your interest in. I think that's... Yeah, that the interest in the subject, the interest in what you want to pursue mm -hmm. is a pedagogy that is overarching. It's embedded uh, in the way we want to transact the discipline. It's given sometimes in your text, the activities that you have to do. For example, if uh, the text, your textbook has a visual, it has a question that is given just below. So it is basically promoting an activity oriented teaching. And this is the beauty of it. Sometimes it's in text. Sometimes it is given uh, as an example, mm -hmm. as a case study, which you have to uh, try to understand and decode its message. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it is given as after the text, there are certain questions that are posed. Mm -hmm. So something which is embedded and something that you need to cultivate to take forward that knowledge. Because knowledge is not just in this. Knowledge is actually translating it to actual life situation. Mm -hmm. And when you have done it, that means you have understood the theme correctly. Yes. Are we not saying something like, you know, empathy? We use the word empathy. Mm -hmm. Because if I have done, a, uh, I have read through uh, my theme on uh, Holocaust, I should be able to understand how people experienced it and how people came out of it. It's not just the experience, but it's also how I deal with the situation. I may have dealt with certain catastrophe in the past, but if I'm able to revisit and uh, put in more, uh, you know, resources and my understanding, then it becomes very, very important. I also wanted to share this toolkit because you may be also making a toolkit through a different uh, ways of, you know, understanding a subject uh, in geography, in economics. You can make a toolkit. It is sometime in a form of a model, sometime with the help of chart papers. And this toolkit again is for low vision. And this is also from a theme that uh, I uh, worked upon as a research project, uh, the Saints of India, contemporizing it with the present time. And here you can make cards, you can make charts. All this is given here, which you can see on this in this booklet. And here you can see some of the you know quiz items that have been been built personality related concerns adolescent related concerns are all given it to it along with quiz items so one can lead to the others these are the cards that you can see for yourself so you see the beauty of pedagogy so uh, i would like to say that you are in a very important class you are preparing uh, yourself for your future and I would like to suggest to you that practice makes a person perfect. Pedagogy is a process and that process should continue with a lot of effort from your side. And that can happen when you look into your question papers, you can look into the assignments that are given so that when you start practicing your language skills, your skills of expression and the pedagogy has shown its impact on you, isn't it? So. Keep practicing, keep reading, keep innovating. That's what I want to say. Very rightly said, Gauri, ma'am. I think that practice is the only thing that will make you perfect. The more you practice, the more skilled you will become. And with this, we will end our session right here. I would like to thank uh, Gauri, ma'am, one more time for being here, for delivering such important tips, informative session to all our students and learners. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much for uh, this. And I wish you all the very best from my side. Uh, be a, a you know 
person who contributes to the body of knowledge through your creativity, innovations and activity. Wishing you all the best and a great success. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. And I would like to thank all our viewers as well who got connected with us throughout this session. I would like to say, don't go anywhere. We'll be back with another session of maths. Stay connected to PM Vidya channel and CRT official. Namaskar. <laughs>